So, Lan, I want to I want to pose this question to you, Spears. If you got anything here, God, please chip it. in. No one asked me questions. I know, I know. I wanted to lay one out for you today. So okay. I was on uh, I was I was on a um, I was on a stream earlier with Mark Rogers, the okay. voice of college football. Shout out to Mark Rogers. Okay. Uh, we, we we popped up on his YouTube channel last week. That's where that clip went. Um, nice. Done some good work with Mark over the last couple of years. He's a good dude. This question was posed because a lot of people are saying that Matt Corral is one of the best returning quarterbacks in, in, in college football. Okay. I totally agree. Okay. Some people are saying he's the best returning one in the SEC. Okay. The argument or the question was, do you think Corral is a better quarterback or a, a better returning quarterback than JT Daniels at Georgia? I was like, there is a quarterback that I think that I don't personally believe it, but if, if I'm Lindy's, or an Athlon magazine, I guarantee you that they will put a quarterback above Matt Corral and it will be JT Daniels. Yeah. I don't agree with it. I think that Matt Corral played better more consistently than JT Daniels did. Yes, he had those two games where he threw what 13 interceptions. He threw, he threw, he threw 11 of his 14 or 11 of his 13 in two games. Arkansas yeah, it's was absurd. Third. It's absurd. Yeah. yeah. He had three non interceptions. You take off those two games, he's, yeah. he's very well, legitimate. He still threw like what? Six touchdowns in those two games. Did eight touchdowns. Do you see that stat that he only four quarterbacks have in the have ever looked? Okay, so let me rewind. <laughs> so the NCAA passing yards leader mm -hmm. um, have only been in the SEC four times, and it was like Pat Sullivan, Rex Grossman, Johnny Manziel, and then mm -hmm. Matt Crowley. Yeah, yeah. It was total offense. To yeah, total, yeah. total yeah. offense. Yeah, so he, he led the country. I mean, he led the country yeah. with what, like 383, I think was the number. Yeah, because he, like he threw for 300 something every year or every week. And if he didn't, he would rush for like 100. I mean, yeah, he had, he had, a, he had a handful of games where he ran for 70. Like, plus here's yards. the thing as awful as Matt Crowell played passing the ball in an LSU game, if he didn't run the ball the way he did, we would not have been. We would not have kept up in that. 100%. Game. I agree. Now, here's my thing it's. He, I would put him at number one mostly because we there's more film on him. He played more games than JT Daniels did. Now, look, JT Daniels had some great throws. Now, I would not be shocked if JT Daniels comes out next year and just balls out. Um, I think if I'm like, if you're asking me to bet on who they put in front, like who they rank, I think it is they're going to put the experts are going to put JT Daniels, Matt Corral, um, They'll probably put the Alabama guy with him. There's a lot. So it's Bryce Young. They'll probably put him three because Alabama. And then they'll probably put um, Bo Nix. Oh, yeah. Who's I'm so trash. tired. I'm but so they're going to keep giving him the benefit of the doubt because it's Auburn. And then they'll probably put um, – oh, no, no, no. Let me, let me start over. J.D. Daniels, Matt Corral, the Missouri guy. So it was your question. My question was was basically, yeah, it was it – was, because I, I tend to agree with what you said. I think that yeah. I think that analysts are going to look at it and they're going to go, George has yeah. got a better surrounding cast. George Pickens is coming back. There's he's got a better he's line. He's got yeah. a better running game. They're going to look at everything Shout outside out to Luke. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true, true. Uh, you just he, made fun of him earlier. Yeah, I was going to say, even though I made fun I of him, land loves you. Land loves you. Um, I don't. Well, I've been different. Nice man. Very nice. Man. <laughs> um, but. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think the way it's going to play out is I think that they're going to look at the surrounding cast, yeah, and they're going to think that that is going to make him. And he better. can throw the ball down the field. I mean, he's he was a five star. He he's a, yeah. he's a, he was a great prospect. I also think Crowell's just going to have a little bit of backlash on him because of those games, always yeah. just because of his first few years here didn't prove who he was who he was supposed to be right yeah. out of the gate. Yeah, and then yes, the interceptions. Like I think yeah. they're all there's always going to be some negative feedback on him. Yeah, but I think he has shown tremendous upside this past year yeah to who he act like he's actually playing like the quarterback we we're getting we're glimpses we're, we're getting glimpses of what why we was such a high what we out. thought we were getting so, all right so uh jake evans land taylor michael spears here for the flagship football show we thank you to the rebel walk for doing what they do and we'll be back next week yeah.